Welcome everyone to today's Launch and Learn session. My name, as, as many of you know, is Ismarila Bandera, and I will be presented today. So we will be discussing about Antenna Magus, and this session is being recorded and it will be shared with all attendees at the end. Okay. Please save the question until after the presentation, and we will answer them in the question and answer section. So antenna design is a specialized workflow that requires domain expertise because a successful antenna design should produce an element that is insensitive to manufacturing tolerance and it is cost effective to produce so selecting the correct element as early in the design cycle as possible minimize the risk of exceeding budget and time constraints during later stage of the design and production process, adapting an existing design or searching for a new element in textbooks and published paper is no longer the most effective way to make this crucial selection. This is the challenges that we were facing uh, when we are designing an antenna. For that reason, in today's um, presentation we and um, for the limit time that we have i'm going to focus just on these topics uh, we will see advantages of the antenna magus um different section of the design export we will see a design example uh, doing that on um, a simple example on antenna magus we will talk a little bit about rice synthesis uh, the utilities that you have available on antenna magus and the last but not the least, we will conclude with um, a summary of the design workflow that you would use in Antenna Mouse. Okay. So the design capabilities offered by Antenna Mouse are the more most flexible of all commercial antenna design tools. From the quiz start page, the specification chooser aids the user in selecting an appropriate standard specification or define a new specification. In the case where a specification is not desired, antenna library can be accessed by selected shows, fine antenna, as you can see on top. So once a specification is selected, the user is directed to the familiar fine mode page. But if you see, for example, here, you can start a specification for a smart device, mobile commons, then you have this option here, like cellular bands, 5G band, uh, then you have to, you can choose between base station and devices, and then you will have these standards here, um, like a specification and more information about this van. But notice something, this green check here that you, you will see, this is an indicator where an associate design exits for a specification. And we will talk a little bit about that on the next slide. Oh, sorry. So in fine mode, which is this area, uh, this window, the Actix uh, specification will be shown in the palette. Okay. So in selected specification uh, candidate prototype has been included, also known as a specification based design. If you notice these green um, options that we have here of the antenna, these are specific based designs based on the specification that we used before. So this static antenna design taking zero operation into account and thus speed up the development of a standard design as integrated device. Therefore, by optimizing for a particular scenario, um, this specification based design offers practicality and expense of flexibility because you cannot change too much or you cannot change the model of this design compared with other options that you will have on the bottom, for example, that we give you, give you this specification chooser uh, number. So uh, once specification has been selected, any available uh, specification based um, uh, design 
um, will be listed first on the find more work workspace, like you will see here. Once you choose the prototype that is not a specific a based design, then you can continue to the evaluation of the design. If you see uh, on the top, you will have this specification, you will have the preset specification, you will have the specifications of based on your selection, but you can choose the other options on the bottom. And you will have the keyword that you can add more uh, keyword, for example, planner or direct uh, directivity, some some keywords that you will use on, on, on these terms. So once you have found and add the antennas that may be suitable for your application to the collection, uh, Antenna Magus can help design them to, to meet your electrical expectations. The overview in the main window of the antenna aims to provide a summary of the device and all his design. Once, once the antenna has been designed by Antenna Magus, its performance can be estimated. So at the end, you can compare the physical size or performance between designs, like you can see on the on the right. And, and different um, and choose the design that you are going to implement, okay, based on the KPI that you have already has for your antenna. One of the, the other advantage that we will need to mention is the export option. Uh, an Alter, FECO, or CST Studio model of any antenna can be exported by Antenna Mouse. So these models are completely parametric for the dimensions indicated in the Antenna Mouse documentation. They have also been validated against results available in lit literature and tested to ensure that they evaluate correctly for a wide variation of parameters. And this is our, the typical step that we should follow when we are exporting an antenna. So you have your, you will see on the, on the top of the model of Antenna Magus, this option of model export. Then it will open the mod export window and you will have the option between FECO and CSC. You can choose the type of the model. Probably you will have another option for frequency solver. Depending on the model, you will have uh, these options. And then you can export the model. And if you notice, this is the image of CST, and you will get all the parameters that we were used for the design of this antenna on CST, which is also already um, parameterized, and you will have all the settings for to simulate your 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 model, okay? Uh, this is a design example that I want to show you. Let me start reproducing. In this example, uh, we were using a radar bands, X band for more specific, and we can we choose the the one that we are designing. Um, start designing the process, checking the the type of suture that we are going to implement and uh, verify that all the parameters that we have here, the estimate performance, if it's already, uh, and then you can export it to CST and at the end you can check the performance of the on CST, full wave analysis. Okay, it is quite simple because it's in the, you don't have too much to complicate in this case, but you can do more on Antenna Magus. You can check the performance between several antennas, or if you choose a SVD option, which is a specific, uh, I forgot the, that the specification based designs, it will directly uh, allow you to export that file also to CST. Okay. So let me go to the next slide. Okay. Okay. So the next advantage that we can see on CST, I mean, um, sorry, on Antenna Magus, is the array synthesis. So the array synthesis tool in Antenna Magus assists engineers in the design and analysis of antenna arrays of different shapes and size. So the tool includes the 
ability to synthesize typical array layouts and excitation distribution for objectives like game, being with um, uh, screen angles, high low levels. So user can import externally defined layouts and specify to the patterns of individual elements. So you can, or you can use the, the ones that you already have on your collection also. Um, yeah, and you can export different formats. So let us talk, if you, if you notice, these are all the type of, of a range for the array that we have inside of CS on, on Antenna Mouse. You have different options. You can bring other options also if you need it. And you can you export this array layout to use it on array task. We will talk about that. If on the bottom also, there is a good link. I will share this presentation with you guys. So you will see this link here. What it will give you to more information about how to work with the array layout. And this is an example how to export the array um, representation to CST and use it on array task because for those that don't know, this is uh, this is available. So you once you have your array with the representation that you need, just go to export physical, and then in um, you will save that uh, TSV file. Then on um, CST, when you have your element, just go to array task, and you it will ask you what type of array do you want, and you have to choose the TSV file and find the one that you exported. And once you have there, if you notice this type of array, it is not available on CST by default, so you can have more options thanks to to Antenna Mouse. Okay. So something another important is antenna a mouse is more than just a database of, of antennas. It is a toolbox for antenna engineers full of useful utilities and libraries that can be used to simplify everyday antenna tasks. So the tool the toolbox contains um, <clears throat> collection of useful tools and utilities for antenna designer. These tools include system calculator, a system calculator, um, <clears throat> approximation tools, data, data conversion tools, and many others. For example, trace any scan graph ima image using the mouse and export it is formatted text data. Calculate the, requir the required gain of a receive antenna using the freeze calculator and many honor and many more. Okay. Additionally, Antenna Magus has integrated libraries, if you can see on the left. Uh, for a number of materials and components, this the library simplifies finding commercial standard sustrays, weight guides, and connectors. While this the Radom library contains a number of the most popular aerodynamic nose cone shapes. Sustrays in the suster library may be used when designing antenna sin antenna mouse. So as an example, I just showing you that you can uh, inside of the connectors library, you will have typical standard connectors. And this is important when, when you are working with your antenna on CSTM, you need to design the, the connector because you want to know all the the complete behavior when your system or you want more accurate result when you're comparing with measurement result, it is important to include uh, the connector so you can export this type of model to CST. Okay, this is important to know. And the last but not the least is the, um, I just want to show you in some way the typical workflow that we will follow for when we are designing an antenna on um, antenna mouse. So you will have, for how I was explaining before, you have to find the antenna, a specification user, extensive library of antenna, then you can design and tweak 
the, based on your design guidelines or on your KPIs performance, then you can evaluate and compare uh, between the, the different type of antenna that you have in your collection, and you can export uh, your model to CST. So at the end, Antenna Mouse provides the capability to design and evaluate more than 350 antennas and array types, concise and accessible information about the different type of antennas and topics, um, as well as many useful tools and libraries and exportable accurate simulation models are also included. So this is a powerful and flexible design tool for anyone for working with antennas. Okay. So thank you. Um...